Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo T, and today I have a video showing how to make these cute little succulents out of polymer clay and UV resin. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make four different types of varieties of succulents. So for the first type of succulent, you want to take a scrap piece of clay and you want to pinch into a flattened teardrop shape. And then you're going to make different varying sizes of it. So then on a clay base, I am blending five leaves on the bottom. Then in the middle, I'm adding four medium sized leaves. And at the very top, I'm adding three little sized leaves. And there you have your first type of succulent. So for the second type of succulent, you want to take some scrap clay and you want to pinch it into a 3D triangle shape. And you want to make about five of these guys. So I'm placing about four on the outer layer of the base and blending that onto it. And I'm going to place one in the middle. And there's your second type of succulent. This one's a super easy one. Next, this is another simple one. So I'm taking a flattened piece of clay for the base and I'm adding large circles on the bottom and I'm adding about five of them. And I'm blending it only on one side so it has this fan-like pattern. In the middle, I'm gonna add about four. And at the very top, I'm just adding one little one. For the fourth type of succulent, you want to take some clay and roll it onto one side so it's pointed. Using your blade, you want to cut it flat on one side. And I didn't place this in any particular order, I just made it so that the flat sides stay in the middle and the rest of it kind of just fans out. And once it's completed, it kind of looks like, you know, the little spikes and leaves on pineapples. And once completed, you want to bake according to instructions. And once it's fully baked, you want to make them into molds such as these. And I'll be linking my mold maker in the description box below. Unfortunately, the demolding process pretty much broke all the leaves off, so I can't reuse the template if I want to make another mold, but the mold turned out nicely. Next, I'm going to take some UV resin, and this is the soft variety, and the reason why I'm using soft is so that it can demold easily because it's flexible. And I'm adding some green dye. And slowly you want to drip it into your mold, and you have to be super careful because since it is a very intricate mold, you have to make sure that the resin flows in and doesn't have any bubbles. And once you have that, you can slowly demold it and you should have something that looks like this. And I really like how frosted it looks because it kind of reminds me of the succulent effect. So now I'm taking some other pigments and making different colors of greens and filling up the other molds. And another technique to filling up these molds is to add the resin on one side continuously and spinning the mold so that the resin can flow into the different little compartments. 
And once cured under the UV lamp, you should have four succulents that look like this. To make the little planters for the succulents, I just took different colors of clay and I rolled into spat cylinders and cut off the ends so it looks like pretty much a wheel of cheese. And here I have four different kinds, all baked according to instructions. Next, I'm mixing up little pebbles that I got from the local hobby store and I'm mixing it with hard UV resin. And I'm slathering on the little rocks onto my planter base. And I'm pretty much just making a ring of rocks so then I could put my little succulent in the middle. And then I'm going to cure it under the UV lamp. And I'm going to continue this process with the next three succulents. And once fully cured, you should have four succulents that look like this. And I really like the frosted look because it reminds me of actual succulents, but then you could also give it a layer of glaze to give it that nice shiny, glossy, glassy look that everyone likes. And I think my favorite one definitely has to be the really spiky one on the orange planter because it just really reminds me of pineapple. And after I said that it kind of looks like a pineapple, I decided to give it an orange planter just to make it that much more pineapple-like. But I think my second favorite will definitely be this circular one just because it's a nice fan-like shape. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you want to see for my next video in the comment section below. Thank you!